Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to overcome unable to refresh schema refresh maximum 500 tables limit. Uh, in data sync we have one of the limitation uh, the data schema refresh will get failed when we have uh, more than 500 tables in a database. So I will show you one trick on how to meet, how to overcome this limit. Okay, just for that I am going to configure uh, database here and click to sync to other database click on new sync group I name my sync group use existing new database now my requirement is like I want to configure uh, data sync from on-prem to Azure so I am selecting member win here click OK Now the sync group is created successfully. So now what I am doing here enter the password of the hub database, click on add add on on-prem database, click here. So right now I don't have any agents installed here, so I'm selecting click new. Here type any name. So now, once we see that here, copy that sub agent key and open your data sync client agent. Click on submit key, paste the key, and type come to here and and type the username and password of sync metadatabase. Right now, my hub database and sync metadatabase are in same server, so I'm using these credentials. Click on test connection. Connection is succeeded. Click on OK here. Now once we submitted, we need to click on register. So meanwhile, what I am going to show you here is this is my on-prem SQL server. Okay, in test two, I am going to I want I have these many data tables. Okay, I want to transfer all these tables to the Azure database. This is my one of my requirement. So right now I'm going to show you how many tables are there. Right now thousand. But but the what were the default limit is 500. We will encounter uh, once we configure this error. Okay, I will show you that uh, how to reproduce the issue and how to overcome that. Okay. Now go to that now. Click on register. Click. I am selecting Windows authentication. Server name. I am pasting here. And test to database. Click on test connection. Click OK. Click save. Now we have successfully configured data sync. Now let's see what could be the error we see here. I already agent, agent is there. Select this. Click OK. Now select the database. Now type type their on-prem. Name can be anything. Forever remember uh, this database should be on-prem. So that is the reason why I am naming there as a 
on prem select the database now my requirement is like i want to transfer from the on prem to azure from the hub no it is like to the hub click ok ok now uh, it is uh, we are adding the on prem database to the sync configuration yes we have successfully added click on ok See now, now here it will give an option. Select the on prem. Click on prem. Click refresh. Now it will get fail. How where we can see that error? Yeah, click on duplicate. Just tap. See here. Here you can see that getting schema information for the detail fail. Unable to process schema with 100,000 tables. 500 is the max. This is the error information we got. If we go to the previous tab, it will be struck here only. So like this, you need to open a new color and we need to see that what are the events that are going to fail. Where we get, we see that error it is getting fail. Here we need to start in test two on prem. Here we have thousand database. This issue is on from on prem. Okay, now how we can uh, mitigate that issue, overcome this issue is we need to delete that 500 table extra more than 500 tables, which you have to maintain below 500. But is that recommended? No. Why? Because we should not delete the databases by tables based on the product limitations so how we can mitigate this issue is we need to create the users and we have providing a limited visibility for that users let's do that so as of now we can see i have i have thousand tables now what i am going to do here i am selecting this user select the master database select new query and paste it here I am creating a login with a password and a user in the same in the same master database now what I am going to do here click on security new query and I am pasting again and I am removing this login I am creating one more user as well in respective database yes i'm logging to i have i just log in credit user with the map uh, for login so now what i'm going to do here i'm adding respective role or to the Russia. DDL admin now this can be anything okay now what I am doing here I am removing the, all the all the permissions for the user see here you need to mention the user name here okay user or login name click execute now what I am doing here I am a granting open the tables here here I have two tables right so I am doing this one one is one is enough dbo dot table zero to whom Harsha I 
Masha. Yeah, we are. We have granted view definition only to this Arsha table. Now recheck all these permissions once again. Click on select the SQL authentication type Arsha here. Yeah. Password. Again login it failed. So now what I am doing here? I need to check the same permissions. Just copying that. Yeah. So we successfully log in into the on-prem SQL server with the you a login credential login name Arsha credentials click on databases click here click tables see you are able to see only one table it means you don't have permissions to view all the tables what about we have to do we again if you want to see another table just go to there here then you need to add this table name here so like this we have to add how many tables we want for the data sync to be configured so do it only once otherwise it will become again difficult okay mm, once we have done now what we need to do go to sync agent here yeah, select that uh, databases click on edit credentials See that he will get that. Select SQL authentication, type Harsha, type the password name, click on test connection. Connection is successful, click OK, click save. Once we configure, just go to the database, okay, or refresh this. Click on this. Click on on prem click refresh it will take some time please bear with us see here I we already had already had one table so select that table here okay click save no problem it will give that let's wait for that this is a intermediate data no need to worry at all okay see we successfully added one table to the data sync okay now it is successfully doing what we need to do here just go to that see I will tell you once click on sync click on refresh log here the schema information updated successfully okay now go what we need to do go to, go to this database now click on query editor and type the paste the password Okay, uh, now see that table is successfully added. Now start from table zero. Now the data is there, but the data is not yet transferred only schema information is successful again that what we which is the error we face here see see here we don't have no permissions this kind of issue we got that or we require alter permission we so so in order to overcome this issue only here whenever 
we get select uh, 125 this operation will get fail when we have more than 500 tables if we don't do, if we don't want this this uh, refresh schema it's okay now we can go back to the this user and click on edit credentials now select windows click and give the full permissions Test OK and click Save. We are adjusting or just playing a, a small tree. Okay. Now click on Sync and click Refresh. Automatically, the we have given in so yes, a credential user, so we don't see this error see database was provisioned successfully the only problem is we need to see the data see the data here uploaded to the two uploaded means it is it was uploaded to on-prem to Azure database. How we can check that? Go to the test data here and run select command. See here, you will see the two records. This is how you can overcome the maximum limit of 500 tables for data sync. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye for now.